The next surgical problem we'll be talking about is a gastric outlet obstruction. All right, so most of the times you see it being abbreviated as GOO. GOO, all right? So anytime you see GOO, this simply means with a gastric outlet obstruction. Gastric outlet obstruction, all right? So gastric outlet obstruction is just simple. When you say gastric, they mean the stomach. Outlet is where food from the stomach gets into the dough then. Right, so this simply means it's an obstruction. You get so gastric outlet obstruction occurs when the food okay, when the passage of food from the stomach to the small intestine is blocked. You get all right, so the obstruction could be partial, just partial blockage, or it could be what complete. So now, if you know the anatomy of the stomach, you basically will start reasoning out the complications. So, here, just trying to show a surgery that could be done. Which is the pancreatical or gastrojejunal stomach. You are linking the stomach because there's a problem and there's a blockage at the duodenum. You're now linking the jejunum directly to the stomach, right? Yeah. So, what could be the causes? What could make the outlet of the stomach get blocked? It could be that there's peptic ulcer disease. It could be that there's gastric cancer. It could be that there's pancreatic cancer. It could be that there's duodenal or cancer. Could be that there's inflammatory diseases like the Crohn's disease. Could be trauma, could be congenital abnormalities, intestinal malrotation. That's when the intestine was, was developing. Remember our embryology lectures? There's mal there malrotation. Okay, it could be adhesions, could be foreign bodies. What could be the symptoms now? Patients with gastric outlet obstruction. How would they present to the clinic? So some they'll be vomiting, which could be projectile or bilus. There'll be abdominal pain, which could be upper or mid-abdominal. There'll be nausea, there'll be weight loss, there'll be anorexia, there'll be blotting, there'll be abdominal distension, be diarrhea, there'll be electrolyte imbalance. How can you be able to confirm this type of disease condition? You do upper GI endoscopy, barium swallow, meal study, right? CT scan, MRI scan ultrasound, gastric emptying study, endoscopic ultrasound, and all of that, right? Gastric outlet obstruction, right? Right at this side. Classification, it could be acute, it could be chronic, it could be complete obstruction, it could be partial obstruction. Treatment is fluid and electrolytes, replacement, antiemetics, that's basically drugs that will stop you from vomiting, proton pump inhibitors, H2 blockers, nasogastric suction. Right, so surgical options now. We are doing gastrectomy, doing a partial or total gastrectomy, gastrojejunostomy. You are linking the stomach to the jejunum. Dodenojejunostomy. You are linking the dodenum to the jejunum. Pyro, pyloroplasty, the endoscopic balloon dilatation. The endoscopic, okay, just the same thing, right? So that's it for this gastric outlet obstruction.